I'm Jordan. I'm Anthony. And we're being, we're being human. human. <laughs> this, and this is, is Local Band Yeah. And we are, ladies and gentlemen, new cover! Yeah, hell yeah! Yeah! What up, man? Yo, you in the Matrix right now. What? Everything blurry. <laughs> My bad, I gotta blur it out. Just, uh, right. it is that way. Gentlemen, I appreciate you guys being here. Do me a quick favor. Please uh, introduce yourself for people that are watching that may not know who you are. Let me know whereabouts in the world you are right this second, and please plug and promote anything. Uh, I'm Tommy. I uh, do drums and vocals. Yo, I'm Piantini. I do vocals, and uh, this guy <laughs> right here. My name's Kevin. I play bass and I do vocals. <laughs> How did you guys all meet, man? Uh, I was kind of reading the the Spotify bio that the, the Tommy you joined kind of like a little bit later on, but uh, what? Yeah, yeah, around like 2018 type shit. Um, we all know known each other forever. Yeah, we yeah. each other for a long forever, time. Like, oh, yeah, shit. over yeah, 10 yeah. years. Yeah, type shit. Just being in the scene, the metalcore, deathcore, hardcore scene out in New York. Just Playing going to shows, shows. Going to yeah. shows. Yeah. Yeah, like, if you asked us 10 years ago, if we would, like, be in a band together, we, we wouldn't, like, know how to talk. Yeah, that. we'd be like, oh, yeah. shit, mad random. And it really worked out for the best. Like, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, and you guys have, like, a, a really, there's, like, you're not in a box at all. Like there's so many different genres kind of incorporated, but I think it all kind of stems from hardcore, but just break down for me. Like today we're, we're working on a new song. How does this start? Oh man. So I've been doing it for a while by myself type shit until I met these dudes. You know what I'm saying? I used to just go to one producer and just speak to him. Not even in English. Like I was just speak to him and like, can you do this in the drums? It can you do <laughs> just can mouthing you do, shit? And I'll be like, do this with the guitar, make it like an 808, da, da, da. And he'll have to try his best to know exactly what I'm saying. And we are working with this guy, Aaron, from Iron Audio, and he oh, just yeah. he captures it just like as if Stanley Kubrick is recording his movie. Like he's the he's the mind of like newcomer, honestly. Yeah, he's I, great. I, I will tell him exactly what I want to do, and it's just like he does it perfectly. Then Tommy comes in. He's like, wait, I want to do this. And Kevin comes in and does his thing. Yeah. And it's just like, that's how Jake Jilly happened. And that's why it's a fucking five minute song. <laughs> like, yeah. so that's, that's not yeah. who you normally record with. Is that particular producer or? No. or? Yeah, that was the first song we ever released with Aaron. Yeah, yeah but before him, we were with uh, this dude, Stas. He did the last record that that was me and Teeny on it between the Brownie Devil and D. Yeah. And uh, who did the first one? Who did the, um, who did the, the first? One? This guy. Uh, I wasn't in the band yet, so that's why. Yeah, right. it's been so long, but this guy, uh, this guy does visuals for like Deftones. I forgot his name, but he's a. Uh, he, he's all the way he's so far he's so far away he's like internationally far like we can't ever see him ever and it just happened out of nowhere i, I was in this band with john leviano and uh we just uh, we both were just doing it from the mind just doing what we had to do with what we had and like what we had wasn't much and we just worked with this guy um and it, it really worked out we just practiced uh doing whatever we wanted to do and it just rejection dejection is exactly how it happened and a, a fallout happened and then gaudy dog happened which was like my most personal record i call it the hidden vhs tape because it's not on streaming sites but if you look if you look hard enough you'll find it and people when they find it they'll know like it's probably one of my I wouldn't say my best, but my most personal record. It was before the Grippy Socks, and people won't know what Grippy Socks is before the Grippy Socks. Um, it, and then I, I, I put Rejection, Dejection, and Gotti Dog together, and I, I turned it into, which is one of my greatest inventions yet between the Briny Devil. Uh, I, was, I was on my lonesome for four years, uh, hence why I named the lyric uh, Piantini the Vigilante, because I would just come and go make a masterpiece and get the fuck out of there <laughs> yeah he was the king of just dropping shit and just disappearing like he would just yeah. be like fall off the face of the earth for like, years yeah like no, just coming and go yeah Man, these dudes were surprised when i came through yeah i was like, like yo bro if we're gonna do this i said we in it we we going full throttle now so yeah. it's like how new yorkers say we outside now we yeah outside. we outside that's a fact for sure yeah mm -hmm. 
Hell yeah, I totally dig it. it and it, it's, I mean, it's gotten, J- Jiggy Jake Jilly has gotten like a really good response. I mean, even even Slipknot had you guys on the radar, right? Yeah, we're, yes, it yeah, from man. Slipknot was sharing the shit. Uh, yeah, we, me and Teeny, we actually, uh, we recorded some stuff at his studio in LA, like a couple beats he made and stuff. So, uh, the, like, he, he's a really dope guy. Like, I always appreciate the, you know, support from someone like that. You know, it's fucking awesome. Word. So, yeah, that was definitely an honor, too. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Tommy, how do you balance doing so many features and so many projects and keep keep Jinx and Newcomer and all and everything all happening at the same time simultaneously? Oh, yo, I definitely don't balance it at all. It's just like fucking shh, 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 just fucking <laughs> on going like, dude, I don't even know how I fucking do that shit sometimes. Like, I don't know. I kind of just just let it happen. I don't know. I, I just do it. <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig and, it. And just yeah. the hustle, you the know, hustle. like they're yeah, doing features Word. and like all that shit, you know, just making music. I, I think it's just all about just consistently recording. And I'm just a big fan of being in the studio all the fucking time. Like, like fucking this this place we're in right now. We're in the living room, but we're at our boy's crib. He's got a studio in the other room and shit like that. Like, yeah, was, we always will just we'll just meet up and just like jam fucking demo right like that's literally what we're doing right now just jamming shit just getting shit tight getting shit ready for when we start playing shows so yeah all three of us are uh, always around you know like yeah we see each other all the time yeah like kevin's been uh you know on on the road with johnny craig tommy's been doing his thing with jenks and he has something very cool coming out with this guy and me personally i just go around and i have a specific vision and they, these guys see it like perfectly and that's yeah. why we're the way we are that's why we're a three-piece right now because you know we just know exactly what we I'm, want yeah exactly what we want and exactly what i've always wanted to do between the brandy devil is one of my favorite records and i'm trying to do a sequel right now just because of how much i love that record yeah. and tommy came through and now we got kevin which is the biggest fucking gangster in this band yeah, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be one of the best records to ever come out. Put it on my name. <laughs> oh, like yeah. you said, sign, sign it. Put on yeah. the name right there. Would, when you, would you, would you first join Tommy? Were you always doing vocals from the drum set, or is that something that kind of came about a little bit later? When I first joined the group, I was actually I kind of I kind of just pulled up filling in like at oh, first, yeah, yeah with there with a couple other guys that were in the group at the time. I was just like kind of filling in shows, and then like he he kind of had no band at one point, so like I was just like he's like yo I want to make a fucking record, and I'm just like yo bro like I'll help you like I'll fucking I'll fucking help do the drums, I'll add some vocals. Like we I don't even think we really planned for me to even do vocals on the record. I think I just threw in a couple ideas, and like then I was just like oh shit that's fire. Like if we do like switch off shit, it just it sounds really steezy. So yeah, yeah so yeah yeah. 2018 I was probably just like jamming. Just, just filling in for like a year playing some shows then i guess yeah around like 2019 that's when we started recording like with between Brian yeah, yeah 2019 was that year um yeah man i was struggling by myself for a while i mean i had everything on my mind of what i wanted to do and like when these guys understood exactly what i wanted i just wanted silly silly chaotic vocals at the same time talking from the heart uh the most insane heaviest breakdowns whatever you want to call it uh mixed with very emotional you know melodic whatever you want to call it is for the viewers to call it what what they want because that's pretty much newcomer like you hear what you hear and you and you make it into something that um you went through like whatever you hear just just think of like whatever you went through you know what i'm saying How you know even- who who dubbed you guys the dominican bc boys first I think that was that was nah, that was it. Was, 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 was these guys. I, I, yeah, I, I was just like, yo, wait, that's some Beastie boy shit. I think we were just in the studio and like this was even before like Kevin came in too. Like I, we we were we were saying like, yo, we the Dominican Beastie boys. But then like you know, <laughs> Beastie boys got three dudes. So like when we got Kevin in the mix, I was like, yo, what if like when we drop this song, right. we just fucking change the handle to Dominican yeah. Beastie yeah, Boy? Like, like, bro, Cause we- like we're all Dominican, <laughs> like like all three of us. So 
fucking like it, it just makes sense like it like it, and like the way we do switch off vocals we do a lot of back and forth shit like pretty much all the new stuff we have coming out is gonna have a bunch of that so like a, yeah it just it just made sense like and we we just love what beastie boys did for new york you know near they you know there were a new york hardcore band in the beginning became rappers like kind of they still played their instruments like i just love what they did like the legacy like it, it's just very inspirational to us so like that's why like that i feel like there's no we're not bound to anything with this like if we want to put out like a song more hip-hop or like more shoegaze or like a straight up reggaeton song you know what i mean like yeah. we'll do it yeah like we're really not we're not bound by anything that's for sure Hell yeah. Having uh having been here before, Tommy, did you prep them on any of the trivia and how that goes down? Yeah, there's he like, does trivia and uh, oh wait, nah, fuck, I, I got I, I gotta I gotta get I gotta get I gotta get a uh, hot sauce. Fuck wait, yo Josh, you got hot sauce. I was bro? not prepped, dude. Hot sauce or or a beer or something. So here's the thing about the trivia. You you guys get to Kev, you get to pick the trivia or uh Piantini, you get to pick the trivia because he's done it before. What movie or TV show? If you guys could agree on a movie or a TV show that you've seen the most, I'm going to look up trivia on this, and I'm going to try and stump you. I, I Yo, know, I would man. say... I don't know, man. Like, a movie or a TV show that you've seen the most. That we've, we've seen the most. You know who I've seen the most? Interstellar. Interstellar. I, I'm not... I didn't Come see on, that. I'm not, I saw it, like, four times. Uh, not you that watch much. Zeus TV? Yo, yes. shut up. <laughs> Zeus TV? Yo. Yo, I would say like like any classic movie, honestly, bro. No, like it goes know, from, it goes back to like Godfather, Eyes Wide Shut, stuff like that. You know, the classic grainy filmy type, you know, very classical movies. You try to Did put it in Bronx Tale? Yeah. I, I can look I, I can look at Bronx, Bronx Tale or Godfather, either one of those would work. Good yeah. fellas, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know the you know, What about what about Carlito's Way? Huh? Have you seen Carlito's Way a bunch of times? Carlito's way. Uh, I saw it like oh. once. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Godfather. Let's go, Godfather. Godfather. Godfather yeah. too. When it comes to betrayal, when you're yeah. running the wow. shit, Scarface, same fucking vibe. Yeah, you know. Actually, Godfather. Uh, yeah. I can. I can do Godfather too. While I'm looking up some trivia, though, uh, I know you guys got a lot more jams coming out. More, more stuff in the works. I imagine going down tonight. Maybe the part two that you were talking about. But uh, is there? Is there? anticipation for features on your guys' tracks in the future um well i mean yes for sure we're we, working I, on it yeah we, we like we have it. a couple we have, definitely have a couple in mind for sure um i want that we haven't really like pinned one down like i know we yeah, were no, between like yeah. three different people we're like yo like yeah there's a couple people that we want on yeah they're, they're all right. sick and they're they're yeah. down you know what i mean Let's like i say it's so unexpectedly huge that we just want to keep it a secret right now yeah it's yeah, all timing yeah. it's all timing yeah, oh, yeah yeah but no we're we're we in the collab it could be somebody sure. or it could be nobody who knows yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. shout out danny diablo by the way who oh, just yeah, featured yeah. on our latest track yo kind of don't kind of thorns Thorn, scarhead yeah, Joy, yeah. yeah. Man. new york hardcore legend right there for real, for How real. On that track and dude's bless like it. dude's yeah, like dude. 52 years old or 51 <laughs> like yeah. and his voice is still fucking awesome like he has a very distinct just like very like New York hardcore type of voice and like yeah. yo we we're just like yo you want to fuck with this like wait I kind of just hit him up on some random shit like I, I would see him at shows and he was just like yo this is hard I'll do it and he didn't ask for no bread or nothing he just like he just got in the fucking studio and just sent us something. yeah I mean, cool. you probably they legitimately like like us you yeah know? yeah it's like you know have a day with us if you spend a day with us you're gonna you're gonna fucking be with any idea that we have just because you know that it's gonna work out yeah that's how i met these we were in a studio once and we made jiggy j jilly in less than 30 minutes yeah we made that shit that wait not not 30 minutes <laughs> maybe like nah but we made that shit really quick bro like a yeah, couple we hours on, yeah that was like we were yeah, so we, in the zone like it was yeah just so, like, yeah like we didn't even exactly have the magic that, happens quick. That many lyrics yeah. prepared. Like we did have like yeah, a bunch, but, like, but when we were writing shit as it went on, it felt so organic and natural. And like I, I just love, I love when, uh, when really cool things can come out like just off, off rip. You know what I mean? Just like out of nowhere. Like you, you just keep fucking going with it. You're not even that prepared, but you just feel it and you go with like what you're going, what you're going with at that point in time, and it just. You, Fucking came out awesome. I'm really stoked on how that song came yeah. out. Yeah. So the actually, other shit is even crazier, bro. It really is. Yeah. It's so, even crazier. 
I asked you guys to pick trivia, and I think Fiantini kind of took over on that one. He said Godfather, and I think I heard him say Godfather 2 specifically. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah. I've got some ghost pepper wing sauce right here. Whether you get the trivia right or wrong, <laughs> I'm gonna Chinese. do the hot sauce. Oh, man, we got the Chinese. Yeah. We got sauce. the Chinese. Yeah. I mean, it counts, but it barely counts. It bad, but we'll allow. It. We'll allow. It. Oh, has this has the potion in it? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is your Godfather Two trivia. Here we go. Oh man! What oh, disease God. does Young Vito have when he enters America as a child? Oh man, you got me. Uh, was it the. What was it? The. It wasn't that fever shit, was it? It was some shit. I have no idea. I'm saying it years. Got, he, I know he had it? the cold sweats. So that's all I know from that. Now I know he had the cold sweats. Because sweat. of this, they quarantined him for three months at Ellis Island. Yeah, what was it? Fuck, what was the shit he had? It was a crazy ass name. Was it? I don't know if it was. I don't Wait, know. I'm asking. I'm asking. Yeah. Now we're, 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 we're definitely I'm gonna have. Answer. We're just you gonna, give me the answer? I'm just gonna yeah, take yeah. the L and eat the hot sauce. There it is. Enjoy it. I'll do the hot sauce with you. Cheers. The answer was smallpox. Fucking new. Smallpox. I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to say yeah, it. Yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. My ass was saying it was a big name. Yeah, I didn't want to say because I didn't want to fucking idiot. Yo. I was gonna say some dumb shit like necrophobia or a fucking. What? A, a, what a, the fuck? <laughs> That's what? A disease that doesn't even exist. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna try to sound smart and shit. That's when you sleep with dead people, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a Oh shit, it is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing the beat and trooper doing the hot sauce. What are you yeah, what are you guys great. allowed to tell us that, that you have planned and lined up that we can look forward to in the future? I know we can't you can't talk about everything, but is there some stuff that we are allowed to know about? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Well, um should we, 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 can, we can say the title of the next song, I guess. Alright. So the next album, which is the sequel to Between the Brownie Devil and D. Yeah. Um, it's still going to be, it's not going to be placed in AC City. It's going to be through a portal called Lithium Lagoon. So the name is going to be King Kin and D. King Kin and D. And, and no, then, no, 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 no. I said it wrong. Actually, King Kin and Thy Martyrs de Lithium Lagoon. De yeah. as in D in Spanish. In Latin, as a matter of fact. It's going to be like a story, like a, like a fucking Kubrick film if you want to, if you want to go back there. It's gonna be like full metal jacket. It's gonna be something that you have to look through your very eyes and just put your life into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's is it slightly a concept concept single or concept record? So, yeah. So the what I like to do with my music is make it into a spiritual warfare. You're gonna go through like ups and downs, but if you keep that faith and you're gonna feel that emotion, hence why it goes from heavy to shoegazy, to my interludes that I make myself on yeah. my MacBook. It. It's gonna be like a story. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like a book. So this next album is gonna have more of the culture in it, and I'm just gonna say, get ready for that. Yeah. Hey, well, I will tell you one thing. We actually just shot a music video, like, two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did yeah. just shoot one. It's uh, yeah. The song's gonna be called oh, yeah. Wiki Wit Wiki. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're kinda, we're kinda, and that one is gonna be sick. Dude. Yeah, there's gonna yeah. be party. Yeah, yeah. There's gonna be boats. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. gonna be more the, boats. This all this all went down in the video shoot. A whole lot of a whole lot of Dominicans. What'd you say? Boats that that all boats. happened in the video shoot. All the boats yeah, and everything. Yeah, we, yeah. When we went on this like crazy yacht. We went to the Dominican Day Parade, yeah. and we were kind of just like, "Hey, man, we were not really that prepared or like knew what to expect. We're kind of just like, yo, let's just meet up at the parade. Yeah, yeah. We'll go to we'll do that in the morning, and then we'll go to this party where our boy Cisco was DJing at. Shout out Cisco. So yeah, yeah, shout out Cisco. He like hooked us up. It was like some nice ass boat. Like it was huge. That's yeah, had, like, it was five straight floors. up like it was just straight up like a yacht club party that like a lot of our friends work in like the nightclub industry so yeah yeah I, I, me too we, we yeah. get to be blessed to go out to a lot of these like clubs and hang out with these like random ass people that you never think you're gonna see sometimes yeah yeah and yeah, just yeah. be doing some random ass shit like chilling on a boat and partying with a bunch of just like i guess whatever the hell like you know <laughs> That's Broken, that, that was that, but that point, that boat specifically, it was like pretty much all Dominicans. Yeah, it was. Yeah, because it was yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was it Dominican was, party after party for the parade. Yeah, there was Dominican Day parade in the city, which yeah. was, which was dope. But yeah, it was a hot day too. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Yo, man, scorching. like the sequel, bro. Like it's like looking through a lens in a movie. Yeah, we really want to like bring like a lot of uh, like movie aspect, like but like really good, like just good movies, like movies that. Pe 
that are that have been talked about since like so long ago oh, like th that was like his idea doing all that he's like he has like uh the mind of a director when it comes to like how he wants to like visually represent the band so and he likes a lot of good movies i like i like all the shitty movies like fast and the furious and rush hour yeah. and shit uh, yeah. i'm into like dumb shit but like he put he's like he'll put on like one of those like really good ones like and like i, I start i like i start getting into it like yeah. more because of him too i'm like, very i'm very much into a24 art house type movies where you have to like figure out what's going on and to the normal eye it will seem weird as hell and not making sense but the people that go through it most, they have to look through the lens when they listen to our music. And I know they what you mean, but with the A24 stuff, they do make a lot of cool movies that have like little twists in here and there. And speaking <laughs> of movies, you got there's all kinds of wicked badass like horror stuff all behind you guys oh, where, where you're at. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is this oh, is yeah, this yeah. is a, this is our boy Josh's crib. Shout yeah. out Josh. He's like he's uh, doing guitar live with us and shit yeah, like that he for sure. Yeah, machinist. yeah, shout yeah, the machinist man, for sure. And listen, bro. Just, just, I want to tell the audience, man, get ready, man, because you're going to have nostalgia when you listen to this shit. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, you're going to look through back, like, you're going to go back in time when you hear these interludes going to the breakdowns, going to the shoegaze. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot going on, but but it, it works. It really does work. It, it makes sense. It yeah. definitely makes sense. We're, we're all yeah. taking a risk here, and it's just going to be a masterpiece, and that's why it's going to be the way it is. Yeah. So I know the, the the next single is shot, but is are we looking at early twenty twenty four for for the whole the whole album coming out? I would say like most a, definitely. Nah, maybe do it. I would just like. I mean, right now our plan is to kind of just drop singles. So we got yeah. a couple singles lined up. We'll be dropping out of, out until twenty twenty four. Word. And then um, you know might be playing a couple shows here and there. We we got a couple of show offers. Yeah. Especially doing big ones, but. And I said, I mean, we're going to take them, yeah. you know, because we want to make sure that we're prepared. Yeah. We're going to see what's up. You know, like, for sure, there's definitely, yeah. there's things coming. Yeah. Like Kevin sure. said, we're, yeah. we're testing. Cliche as it is. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like he said, it's like, big you know, it's kind of cliche, but we're really big testing. It's coming, bro. We're, we're testing the waters here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's what life is, man. Testing you the got waters. To. Taking got risks. To. Absolutely. And I want to just, I want us to influence other people to know that they don't have to just follow. They could just do Whatever the fuck they want, test the waters, it's gonna work out, manifest. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You do you. Do Sorry. you. We got time for one more question, and I do want to do a redemption trivia question. Godfather well, 2. Godfather <laughs> 2. I feel like this one could be a little easier. Oh <laughs> shit. Who does Hyman Roth run molasses into Canada with, and they made a killing during Prohibition? What is the other person's name? Was it when they were in the house and they shot this guy's house up and the wife and kid was in there? Was it that scene? He Googling them. I don't know. I have a trivia oh. website that like, if I could put something in it, like generates trivia. Ah, uh, AI generated question. I'll, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. It starts with the M, the first name. Wait, what's the question? One so he said, <laughs> the person what? who Hyman Roth runs molasses into Canada with during what? Prohibition in Godfather 2. You could have picked Canada. any movie. That's the one you guys picked, Godfather 2. Or is that with a what? An M. An M? Maurice. Mm, Michael? That is not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're done. It is, it is Mo Green. It is I, Mo Green. I, 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 oh, yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> v Molasses. I did not just Google that. Mo, it it says, says Mo Green. And uh, and Hyman Roth run the molasses into Canada. Uh, uh, I, don't I, was, know, I don't know why. Uh, no, nah, I was wrong. I googled it. All right. <laughs> Either way, guys, this all is right. fun, man. This was fun. Shout out to to all the the recent success for 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 Jake Jilly, which, like you said, came came so fast. The magic just happened like instantly in the studio. We look forward to part two coming out uh, next year, and of course, the video of you guys partying on the boats. I'm sure that's gonna be awesome. But uh, Dominican BC boys, aka newcomer, thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. This is fun. Appreciate you, BG. Oh, man. Hey, oh, man. Tommy, let me know what you think of that song I sent you. Oh, yeah, word for sure. Yo, thank you, man. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Thank you. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, newcomer! Yeah, hell yeah. Hey! Enjoy the rest of your day. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band, Smokeout.